Welcome back guys. Something of a solo career today. I've not got much of a crew, it's just me and the car. I thought I'd better get um, some more jobs done on this car, otherwise it's going to be here forever. Uh, and I'll uh, do a little video of what we're going to do today. So we're going to try and attempt this uh, <clears throat> Brembo brake caliper fix today and get this bleed nipple replaced. What it involves is, I'll show you around here, We've got a sheared off bleed nipple, <coughs> which we're going to drill out very carefully and get that from out of there and replace it with a new one. Now, it's very careful, we've got to be very careful how we do this because we don't want to damage the threads inside the uh, caliper, which will mean we can't get another one in. We'd have to send this off to be sort of drilled and retapped and, uh, and a bit more work. So, I'm hoping we can get it out. If, <laughs> at this point and we're going to do that by drilling this hole out boring it bigger just enough so that the uh, wall of the bleed nipple becomes thin and weak and then we'll use a center punch to cave the sides in and um, effectively peel it away from the threads and then, and then pull the whole thing out and get it swapped over Right, okay, before we start, I've got the replacement bleed nipple here, guys. <clears throat> what I should uh, say is, what what I do is, as I've checked this on a, another caliper to make sure it's the right thread and it's the right size, always worth doing before you start drilling this out, because the last thing you want is to uh, remove the old one and, and the new nipple not be correct or not fit, then you're just going to end up with a problem and uh, brake fluid leaking all over the place. So always make sure what you've got is right. <clears throat> before you start anything like this. Now, I'm going to start with a 4.2 mil drill bit <clears throat> to uh, drill the middle out and then I'm going to work up, th I think 6.5 is about the maximum I want to go to um, to get this knocked out. Now there's a couple of ways you can do it that I've seen this been done before is, is you can drill this out a little bit and try and put a stud extractor in there and, and knock a stud extractor in. The problem with doing that is, is if you break a stud extractor off, they're extremely difficult to drill out and get out, so then you've got a bigger problem. So I'm not going to risk it, I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and drill this out as much as I can, weaken the wall and, and take it out that way. Okay guys, <clears throat> as you might be able to tell from behind me, it's dark outside. I started this job at about half past nine this morning, it's about half past six in the evening now. And we've got uh, we've got somewhere near, this is all that's uh, left of the old bleed nipple. You can just see the remains of some threads there that we managed to uh, coax out. And the, uh, the bottom, which we've just managed to pull out with a magnet, that's the current state of play. Now, the threads have taken a bit of a beating whilst I've been just trying to get this bleed nipple out. And I think that's because the, the mild steel bleed nipple and the alloy of the brake caliper have fused together. So it was a real difficult task. So I'll just see if you can see that in there or not. I mean, the threads really don't look like they're in great shape at all. Um, 
I'm going to run a I'm going to run a tap down there and just try and straighten them out before we uh, before we can try and get the new bleed nipple in there. So just working that, uh, <coughs> working the tap down first, and then that um, new bleed nipple, just gently back and forth. You can see it's uh, straighten those threads out. So let's wind the new one in and get the job finished. So there you have it, guys. One fully reinstated bleed nipple on the Brembo caliper. Took a bit of time, but perseverance always pays off. See you next time.